So you want to make a dot density map using QGIS. First, we need to start with data. So here I've got a county shapefile and I've got a state shapefile. Uh, I wanna create a dot density map of population by county. And if I take a look at my attribute table, I can see that I have population data and the category is called population. So keep that in mind, we'll need to know that later. Now to create a dot density map, what we're gonna be using are vector tools. So I'm gonna click vector at the very top here, then go to research tools, and then go to random points in polygons. What this does is allow us to put random points within our different polygons. So we've got polygons of counties here. And what we're gonna do is tell the computer that we wanna put a random point for based on the size of the population within each county. So I'm gonna select as my input layer counties, um, and here the default is one. So what that means is that if I left the defaults, the, this program would randomly place one point in each county. Now that's not actually gonna show us the geographic distribution of population in the United States. Instead, it's gonna show us the geographic distribution of counties in the United States. Um, so what I wanna do is click on this button here, the data defined override and select assistant. Now that's gonna bring up a new window. And here for my source, remember that my source, uh, the, the column that I want to be working from in my attribute table is population. I'm going to type that in. And then I know that the population of each county is so big that if I just put dots for each um, uh, person, that there would be way too many dots. So I'm going to start by dividing by 1,000. And we can always come back and change this later. So once you've got that, you're going to click here on this fetch val uh, value range from layers. And it's going to tell me that the range when I divide my population by 1,000 is from 0 to uh, 10,081.5. Now, this is great, but pay attention to the output. Here it's saying that the output is ranging from 1 to 10. So what that means is if you leave this as is, counties with the smallest value will be given one dot, and counties with the largest values will be given 10 dots. That's not going to show us a lot of geographic variation in our population. So instead, since we've gone to the trouble of setting our source to population divided by 1,000, what we want to do is change these to match those values that we pulled up using um, our um, fetch button. And I'm going to just round that number there. You want to make sure that the exponent says 1. Um, and then we could just run this as is as a scratch layer, but I want to be able to save this. So I'm actually going to use this back button and then I am going to come here and scroll down and I am going to um, select my output output. I'm going to save it to the file and I'm just going to save it to my GIS data folder and I'm going to call it city one. And then I'm going to click run. It will take a couple of seconds to run, um, but you will then see a um, uh, information here saying that it's finished when it's done. So we'll give it just a second to do its thing. It's adding a lot of dots all across the United States, so it's going to take a little bit of time. So here we can see it just finished, right? It has loaded the resulting layers and it, the algorithm has finished. So we can click close and see all of these dots. Now, these dots are way um, too big for the scale of what we're looking at. So first I'm gonna zoom in on the contiguous United States. And even when I do that, I can see that there are just way too many dots. The other thing I want to do is turn off this county layers and turn on state so we can actually see it a little bit better. Now I want to adjust the size of my dot. So I'm going to go to properties and then symbology. And we're going to leave it in single symbol. I'm going to choose um, a simpler dot. And I am going to set the size to 0.3 as a starting place. We can always adjust this if need be. So here what we can see is we are actually starting to be able to see that geographic variation. We are definitely seeing 
um, uh, the boundary effect, right? So we can see the edges of highly populous counties, which means we probably want less dots um, in each county. So we'd probably want to go back and repeat this instead of using a uh, population divided by 1,000, we might want to try population divided by 5,000 or maybe even 10,000. So let's go ahead and do that just as an exercise. Um, so now you know how to create a dot density map. If you want to stop here, you absolutely can. I'm going to go back and try again uh, and see if I can get a um, better looking map. So I'm going to go to vector, research tools, random points and polygons. Again, I'm going to select counties as my input. Again, I'm going to select the assistant in the data defined override tab. Here, I'm going to type in population divided by 5,000. I'm going to find out what those values range from, and I'm going to adjust my output to match those values. Keeping that exponent at one, I'm going to go back and I'm going to save this so that if it does work, I can use it over and over again. And I'm going to run it. Now, that ran a lot faster because there are fewer dots being placed. So I'm going to go ahead and close this. I'm going to turn off that first layer that we created. And I am going to, once again, go to properties and then symbology. And I am going to adjust my symbol um, to see what that looks like now. Now, this looks much better. We still have some boundary effect in LA, but we're not seeing it in a lot of places. So if we look at Seattle, we see relatively little boundary effect here in King County. We see a little bit of it in various points, but we're not seeing it quite as pronounced in most places. Now, there's a limit to how much of the boundary effect we can get rid of without losing the fine grained um, what's going on in the interior, right? There is a huge, huge difference in the population density in the central United States as compared to some of those big cities. So I actually am quite happy with this and I'm gonna go ahead and leave it there.